Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Kingdom of Midag from 2 Plus Games. It says from 2 to 4 players in about 15 to 20 minutes, so sounds like a very quick game. In the 17th century, a cross-tribal alliance was formed in the Midwest area of Taiwan called the Kingdom of Midag. Alright, well, uh, it's an intriguing looking back here. Let's take a look inside the box. See if we can get an idea of what this game is about. It's already intriguing in the playtime. Don't see a lot of games in that 15 to 20 minute time range. All right, we've got our rule book here. Here we go. We'll focus on the English side. Got our components and set up here. A nice illustrated example of how the board is set up. So the game is played over four seasons. Players take turns clockwise, and you perform actions in two phases. You either go hunting or rest, or you send a tribe meeple to the village hut. So, if you go hunting, it explains how to do that here. If you send a tribe meeple to the village huts, that's where you're going to be taking your actions, it looks like. So you've got the tool hut, the trade hut, the worship hut, the elder hut, and then you've got the end of the season, updating the hunting field for a new season, resolving and refreshing story tiles changing the season board, and it says the end of the fourth season, you don't uh, trigger the, or you don't resolve the story tiles immediately. You wait until the end of the game, which it says, um, after the resolution of the festival story and personal story tiles. Okay, some changes for two and three player games, a glossary of what the story tiles are and what they do, and then details about the hunting tiles. So, let's take a look here at what we have. So, we've got a pretty involved looking board. I must say it's striking. Um, I'm a little concerned. At, it looks a bit busy to my eyes. Um, perhaps when the rest of the components are laid out, maybe it's a, it makes a little bit more sense, but just at first blush, it, it, it looks a little bit busy. Uh, all right, let's take a look at these cardboard components here. We've got a number of different tiles. They're fine quality, maybe a touch thin on the cardboard here. Uh, different animals and got our deer. All right, and bunny rabbits and birds. It looks like boars. A number of different animals here. Kind of get a sense for that. And different tiles as well. That look like these at least partially drive the action. We've got some huts here double-sided. All right, let's take a look. The only thing we have in way of cards are these player aids, which you can see here, double-sided player aids. And we've got some wooden components in the colored discs. And looks like we've got our uniquely shaped colored meeples. All right, there you go. You can kind of see how those are not your standard shape meeples. Interesting. So, at least according to the rule book, a quick playing game, certainly a unique sounding theme, not one that I'm familiar with, The Kingdom of Midag. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.